Hello, my name is Frederik Orpzoek and I want to welcome you in this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this. In order to do that, go to the internet and click on the link below this video. We are going to download a vector map of the world. I click on download and it will begin. I will save it, open it, double click and open this in Illustrator. If you don't have Illustrator, I will make a link below in the description where you can download the file you need for Cinema 4D. I select everything, create a new file, make it 2000 by 1000, click OK and I paste it. I go to the selection tool, press Alt so it will stay in the middle of the file and I drag it to the corners. It needs to be on the sides. Uh, it doesn't need to be like this, but more like this. And I drag it up a little bit because we won't be showing Antarctica. I save this as a Illustrator 8 file. I call this World Map Save and then select version 8. That's the only version that Cinema 4D can accept. Now we will go to Cinema 4D, click on File, Merge Object, WorldMap.ai, open it. No scaling, just scale 1, OK. And if we press H, we go to this. OK, let's bring this to the middle of the file. I select it, go to Coordinates. Make this zero, zero, and zero. Press H again, and here we have it in the center of the file. I'm going to clean it a little bit up. I'm going to get lost of all the groups. Okay, and then I will delete this one. Everything that's inside the boundary I will delete. I think that was it. Great. Okay, we are going to extrude this spline. In order to do that, go here, extrude, drag it over here, select all the paths and put them below the extrude. You see that only one country is getting extruded and we want the whole world to be extruded. So go to Extrude, Object, and press this. Now, the whole world is extruded. Sometimes only America is extruded, and in that case you need to switch some paths, and then everything will be okay. I'm going to reduce the thickness. Over here I make it 12. It's better in my opinion. And the next thing we are going to do is make it a wrap. In order to do that, go here to the bend icon and hold it and then select wrap. Put the wrap below, extrude like this. And what you see here, it is looking very ugly. You see all kinds of polygons. We will increase the polygon so it will look better. Go to Extrude, Caps, Type, make it triangles, make it a regular grid and what you'll see is getting really smooth. So that's it. Go to the wrap, make it a spherical and now you see it's round but it's far from looking like the earth. To be honest, I don't know exactly what will be happening in the next two minutes, but I know that it works. So, we made a file that was 2000 by 1000. And the radius 
we're going to fix that. I'm going to release the tension below, make it like this. The next thing, you see this great boundary here, we have to fit it with the radius. So I drag it up like this, make it 638, like that. Now if we do tension, it still is not working totally. We have to make this one 0, this one 360, so it is full covered. If you reduce it, you will have a gap, so make it 360. And here we have to have the half of 360, that's minus 90 and 90. It's looking okay, but if we reduce tension, it's going to the left. We don't want that. So we have to shift this 90 degrees. So I have to put here 90 degrees and here 360 plus 90 is 450 degrees. Oh, and this one minus 90. If we re release the tension now from the wrap, it's looking like this. And this is exactly what we want. I'm going to create a camera. Not yet. We have to do one very important thing. If I bring on the tension and I think, hey, let's rotate this earth over here, then it's in a total wrong axis. So I'm going to the top view. I can press L or press this button. I'm going to drag the axis over here. And to be precise, I can go here, make it world, and then make it the same as the radius, which is 638. Right now, it is perfectly in the middle of the Earth. So if I go back to the perspective view, I want to shift or turn, I mean turn this, it's perfectly turning around this axis. Amazing. Let's go to the camera. Let's add a target camera. The target is over here. That is totally fine with me. And the camera, I will put it zero, zero and drag it back. Minus 4500. I put it on and there it is. If we release the tension here at object, it is looking like this. Okay, now I'm going to make a little animation. I press Command D or Control D, make it 24 frames a second, make it 8 seconds long, pressing 192, which is 8 seconds, and I go to 30 frames. There I say the world map has to be at zero. Then I go back to frame zero and bring it to the left. I go to settings and make this full HD 24 frames a second and the world map at frame zero is at minus 5000 Make a keyframe by pressing command and mouse click and now we see a keyframe. If we press play, it's coming like this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to frame 25 and drag it a little bit to the right of the center. And make a keyframe by command click so that we have an animation like this. Make it a little bit slower. Yeah. While I'm animating this in, I want to bring the camera closer. So here it is, minus 4500, and over here at 100, I want it to be minus 1500. Like this. And as soon as the world map 
is in its place. At 30, I want to increase the tension of the object so it will become a round world. I make a keyframe here, go further to 60, bring it to 100 and make a keyframe. At 55, I'm going to turn the world, go to coordinates at the world map, make a keyframe here, drag it further to 120 and drag it this way, clockwise to 360 or if you want to 720 then it will turn around twice. Let's do that. So if you drag it back, it is turning really fast. It will be nice if you use a motion blur at the end. Over here, go to the camera. We are going to zoom out again from here, 110 to 160. Go back to minus 4 or 5. And from just before it stopped turning, I'm going to release the tension. And you know what? I will drag the camera target back. It won't totally change nothing in the view. But it's handy for the end thing I want to do because I want to zoom into the earth very fast. So it's like this. Then I want to zoom in really fast. So one time bring it down to 100, make a keyframe. And this is our animation. Okay, let's create a material, uh, luminance, no color, create a background and bring this material background to the background and it will show, be shown like this. Okay, create a new material, it's for the earth. Which color do you want to be? I want it to be red this time. A little bit of luminance. No reflectance. I drag it over here. If you want to, you can use some lights. Whatever you want. Um, if you want to take it a step further, you can go to physical, uh, create motion blur, but it will increase the render time a lot. Go to camera, object, physical, and you can uh, keep it like 130. This will create mean no motion blur. This will mean a lot of motion blur. So I'll keep it like this. But I'm going to render it and it will take a while and I will show you the results. I hope you like this tutorial. If you want to, you can subscribe for more upcoming tutorials and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>